Hi everyone, I'm a Japanese minimalist who is traveling North America for over one month with only two bags. This is everything I brought on this trip. In this video, I'll introduce you to what's inside my bag and how I packed it. As a minimalist, I'll also give you some recommendations. So let's enjoy the stressless trip together! First, clothing. How much clothing should we bring for a long trip? I think many people have this question. And the answer would be 4 days worth of clothing, as they are pretty bulky. That means we need to wash them once every 4 days, which I personally don't think it's too much work. Alright then, let me introduce what I brought. First, kimono. This kimono is like my best friend. It was made at a local kimono store in Japan. Since it's very sturdy, I'm wearing it everywhere I go these days. Second, obi. This obi is highly recommended since it's a belt for kimono that you can simply tie. Very easy to use. Puffer jacket. It's perfect for use as a coat during travel since you can make it very small like this. Fourth, gown. It's a gift. Fifth, foodie. Sixth, heat tech tops. Seventh, white t-shirts. Eighth, pants. Cotton pants, aerism pants, and hiking pants. I mostly wear some whitish colors for the tops and some darker colors for the bottoms. So that will match with everything you choose. Ninth, shorts. Momohiki, gym shorts, and swim shorts. Tenth, underwear. I always use reddish underwear from Uniqlo. And this is heat tech inner. Eleventh, socks. Four black socks and one white socks for tea ceremony. Twelfth, shoes. Running shoes and sandals. That's it. Honestly, I wasn't sure which shoes to bring, but it's actually more than enough to bring pairs of sandals and running shoes because how light you can travel matters a lot. Is this enough? I know you might have thought so, but this is just enough even for both hot and cold days. For example, this is how I wear. For hot days, day 1, day 2, day 3, and day 4. Normal days, day 1, day 2, day 3, and day 4. And cold days, Day 1, Day 2, Day 3, and Day 4. How do I pack them? So I roll them all up and fit them into the mesh travel case Muji. The tip here is to separate the colors of mesh cases. So depending on the color of the case, I recognize underwear, pants, t-shirts, and coats so that I can find them easily. I like rolling up all the clothes so I can take them out easily too. Aha, uh -huh, look how compact my clothing become. Second, toiletries. So I'm gonna introduce my toiletries. Toothpaste, electric toothbrush. I bet this one I should have brought a normal toothbrush because it was very heavy. Soap, this is for both the body and sometimes for laundry. Detergent, deodorant, small perfume, razor, a small scissors. I use it for trimming my beard and clipping my nails so I find it very practical. Dental frost, shaver. I used to use have an electric one, but it was heavy, so now I only use this one. So I put all these into a Muji toiletry bag. The best part is that you can hang it and use it immediately after opening it. So I highly recommend it since it's very useful. Third, matcha tools. Now I'll introduce some of my matcha tools. Believe it or not, everything will fit into this tiny tea box. Tea utensil set. Kensui, a container for wastewater, tea bowl A from Mino in Japan, and tea bowl B, uh, this is small tea bowl for traveling, and Natsume, made of maple trees, chasem case, and chasem, uh, which is tea whisk, and tea bowl C uh, from Kinto, and tea strainer, and chucking case, and chucking, which is small cloth, and chashaku, teaspoon, made of white lipped pearl oyster, fukusa, silk cloth. They all fit in here. Other tea utensils. Water bottle from Kinto and Snow Peak. Other chasen to risk. Kaishi paper plates. Cloth. This is for kimono of the water bottle. Outdoor rug. Mombel. Matcha. Hizo Denlai from Hoshino Village in Fukuoka. This is my favorite. Organic matcha from Hoshino Village in Fukuoka. And organic matcha from Chafinity. This is my recent favorite. Other matcha from Jug Silk. I put them in a net bag. Fourth. 
accessories. Let's move on to some knickknacks. Tenugui. This is a must-bring item for minimalists, as it can be used as bath towels or rugs. Wet sage. This is a gift. Palo Santo. This is also a gift. Bags. Black small bag and a foldable one. This is really useful. Rock. It was just beautiful, so I brought it. It's a bit heavy. Lock. Wooden name plate. Uh, this is a gift. Rubber bands. A lot of receipts. Snacks. Plastic case for knickknacks. To be honest, this case is very useful. Helped me the most during this trip. Chopsticks. Spoons. These are also a gift. Put all of them in the main bag. The main bag is the elbow 30 of Fiel Raven. It has a simple but sturdy design. It contains 30 liters and you can still carry it on the airplane. How cool is that? By the way, half of my main bag will be filled with tea utensils, so you can put even more stuff in if you don't have any tea utensils like me. Fifth, shooting equipments for YouTube videos. As a YouTuber, the camera matters a lot. Sony ZV-1 II. I mostly use this one for indoor shooting, recording microphone Fifini, DJI Osmo Pocket 2. I use this one for outdoor shooting with motions. Camera microphone Rode. Sixth, stationery. Journal, Rodia. I've tried different books for my journal, but so far this is the best one. Notebook, my liner and pens, Jusa. I used some Jetstream pens before, but they were all stolen during the trip, so now I use these. I like them both. Business card case and Kindle. It's so convenient for a minimalist to carry around tons of books in Kindle. Definitely a must-have item. Seventh, electronics. MacBook Air M1, Moft laptop case. I would strongly recommend this for all Mac users. You can use it as a case or desk, which is very handy. iPhone 14 Pro, mobile battery, 10,000 mAh. It'll be enough even if you travel by bicycle. Anchor Power Port 3. This is such a tiny, mighty port, an essential item for a minimal trip. SIM cards, etc. Anchor Sound Core Liberty 4. Anchor Power Expand Direct 7 in 2. SSD Sound Disk. A hard disk drive is so important that it's almost like a hurt for video editors. This SSD is very small and light and can hold mega data up to 4 terabyte. So it's awesome. And cables. Eight valuables, money, credit cards, and passport. I put them into a small wallet bag of Mumbo. I can hang it from my neck, so it'll avoid being stolen. I actually found it very handy, so I might use it as a wallet in the future too. Ninth, travel set, eye mask, earbuds, air pillow. These make my trip so comfortable during the flights and at the guest houses. Foldable umbrella, Mumbo. It's very light and easy to carry during trips. I put all this into my second bag. The second bag is this Fear Raven one, tote pack number 4 tall, that I've been using for 5 years. You can also use it as a shoulder bag or backpack, so it's very versatile. And you see, even if I put them all together, there's still some space. Incredible. Tenth, the last two items. I just remembered I forgot to count camping mats and Buddhist prayer bees. This camping mat was actually a bit heavy, but you can use it as a rug or blanket, so it was worth it. So I got these Buddhist prayer bees as a gift, and I love them. Okay everyone, that's it for today. How did you like it? I have to admit, I added some stuff since I got some bags stolen in Europe. I will use them for a longer time, as well as the old ones. I hope this video will be useful for your next trip. I'm waiting for you in Japan. Bye-bye.